What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This video we're going to be showing off the Keurig Mini, which is the perfect uh, coffee machine for an RV. Uh, it's sleek, uh, it fits anywhere, that's what they say anyway, is it fits anywhere. Uh, and it's a one cup uh, reservoir, which is kind of nice. You don't have that one big reservoir that you always have to refill or water sits and gets stagnant after a while if you don't use it. Um, and this is actually fast. Uh, it heats the water very quickly because it has a limited um, you know, supply of water. And uh, what's really cool about this is we're going to be running this Keurig off of a battery uh, power bank. Right, right? So if you're boondocking, this setup works for you. You can have fresh coffee. You have no electricity for whatever reason. This, this setup works for you. And like if you want this for your home or your office, this setup works for you. This is the Delta... Um, battery bank over here and uh, this thing is a beast okay and we're gonna have its own review of this guy because we're gonna try to power a uh, air conditioner off of it it'll power refrigerators this is the beautiful power generator with an inverter that you can use anywhere you can use it in the house in the garage in the shed in your workspace outside just don't let it get wet you know that's not recommended to let it get wet because um, it is just pure electricity or energy coming off this inverter. But what we're going to demo today is one, the Keurig Mini, and we're going to make, we're just going to make some hot water, okay? We're just going to fill this little bowl here uh, with hot water. We're not going to make coffee today. Uh, just to demonstrate that this guy does do the trick. And here again, the Keurig Mini. There you go. See? It fits anywhere. Look at that. So if you're a coffee fanatic and you're like, man, I really don't want to go camping because I can't get a good cup of coffee. Not that I'm saying this is like the best cup of coffee out there. You've got a lot of different solutions from French press to pour overs to chemixes, whatever you want to do. You can even use a percolator and use gas or fire and boil water and make coffee. I always find percolator coffee tastes burnt, but that's just me. I am kind of a coffee snob. So uh, let's just go ahead and I will demonstrate then. So we've got the... Uh, single cup reservoir, so we've got some water here, so we're just going to fill the reservoir. There we go. And we'll close this up. We'll turn on the power. And we're just going to lift the K-cup lid. Basically this is like telling you you're loading it. It has to have this sequence of events to even say you can brew. And now we've got this light flashing on top. So we're basically ready to brew our cup of coffee. Now again, we are plugged into this Delta um, power bank over here. And this is all being powered. This thing, this thing we're going we're gonna to go over this guy. But it's got six AC outlets over here. Yeah, count them, six. So you can power up to six things uh, theoretically with this device. So let's go ahead and engage the Keurig. Again, the water pump's working. Now the true test usually of power banks like this is when it wants to heat the water. And this heats the water quickly, so it has a huge draw uh, to heat this water. Now, what you're probably going to hear is this guy here is going to engage his fans here pretty quick because he's working overtime to power this. There we go. So the fans on the Delta just kicked in. This is the Delta Echo Flow. She's working working good and we can't actually look at the front of the Delta to see what kind of uh, wattage and stuff we're actually using what is the pull on this guy uh, and you can actually see and then we also have much remaining power and all that kind of stuff but we're going to reserve that for a future video because we really want to demonstrate the Keurig running off of this guy so let's just see move the camera just a little bit Again, this is a perfect, you know, this, this works anywhere. So, this is clean electricity. Uh, the inverter in here has got tons of different fail safes to make sure that your electronics and stuff that you're going to be powering off this uh, get nice, a clean sine wave of energy uh, so you're not going to have any kind of damage to any electronics. You can power your laptop with this while you're making coffee. And there we go. Hot, steaming water. If we had a kick up in there, this would be coffee.
And I'm sorry if you feel like you have to pee after you watch this video. There you go. So, in the show notes, I will have a link for the K-Cup Mini, or the Keurig Mini. This is the K-Mini. Uh, again, great, great RV solution. I highly recommend it. And then, if you're interested in the Delta Echo Flow, Watch for future videos on this guy. We're gonna try, to, like I said, we're gonna try to power an AC unit in an RV with this and see if it works and how much time we can get uh, with the power and go from there. Uh, you know, if you wanna see any other demonstrations, I hope this guy can power my sump pump in my basement because, uh, yeah, I'd really like to have a battery backup without having to actually install like a battery backup sump pump and pay the extra money for it where this guy is multifunctional and can use it for a ton of stuff. So anyway guys, check the show notes. This is the K-Mini from Keurig. Um, definitely one of those things you gotta have in your RV. It's an essential appliance for your RV, especially if you drink coffee. Hep, you can get hot cocoa. Nice cold winter night, nice cold fall night. Go ahead and make hot cocoa. You can even be boondocking and make it. And it's like that quick. Perfect, perfect, perfect for RV life. If you liked the video, guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching. Check the show notes for links for all this good stuff, and have a good one.